Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my summer project use it up. I did finish up quite a few products last month and I have a couple that I'm including in the project but this will be the last and final update before the finale at the end of August and then we're going to start the fall project in September you guys I'm so excited but I definitely have some things that I need to finish up before we can move on to fall so let's go ahead and get into my progress so first I'm going to start with all my empties and I do have five which brings our total for the whole summer project up to eight and my goal is 15, remember that. So I will go ahead and start with empties. We have Beach Nights in the Body Lotion. Very happy to finish this one. It's one of my absolute favorites of all time. Definitely my favorite summer scent. It is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. Oh, it is a marvelous scent. So here is my progress lines. Um, I believe the last update we were right here. Started off unused here in a month and then finished it off. And you can see there's like some scent oils floating around in the bottom of this thing. It was juicy, okay? And then last time I up to you guys, um, I had Sunshine Mimosa in the Moisturizing Body Wash pretty much almost done. So you can see I marked it all the way down here. So it was basically finished, but I did technically finish it last month. The notes are bright bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. I like the uh, Moisturizing Body Wash, but Sunshine Mimosa is not my favorite scent, so happy to have this one finished. Next, we have Pure Wonder in the Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. This stuff was amazing. I really started to love the scent Pure Wonder. The notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I was right about here last time I updated you guys, so I didn't have too much to go. Um, and I did cut it open because you can get a lot more out of these like tube products. So that's like the scrubs, the... Um, body creams, things like that that you can cut open. I would totally recommend doing that because I got probably two more uses out of this. So that was nice. I really love the glow body scrubs. I'm gonna have to pick up another one for the fall time, but I really enjoyed this. I also finished off Sol de Janeiro's Coco Cabana um, little body cream cleanser. This is a mini. And last time I updated you guys, it was right here. I love this scent. They did discontinue it. Um, so that is pretty sad, but I would totally pick up another uh, cream cleanser from Sol de Janeiro. And the last empty is this little mini replica perfume in Beach Walk. Um, I had only a tiny bit left, like literally tiny bit left last time I updated you guys. Um, I didn't really care for this that much. I, don't, I didn't, yeah, it was fine. I'm glad I tried it in a sample instead of getting a big one though, but yeah, finish that one off. Okay, let's get into some progress. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna laugh because this Coco Paradise set is on its last leg. It is quite funny. So I did have Coco Paradise in both the shower gel and the lotion. As you can tell, I've had the lotion upside down for a while because it's pretty much almost done, but I will show you, I marked it earlier today. So we started it unused, went about halfway last month, and now we are about right here. So just a tiny bit left. I can definitely finish this within like the next week, but I've been loving Coco Paradise. It's salted coconut manoy, sugar neroli, and bronze sandalwood. It doesn't hold a flame to beach nights, but it is still pretty good. And then for the shower gel, I, I probably have one use left. You can see I marked it all the way at the bottom. So this is going to be totally finished up very soon. And then I've just been using the spray from um, Sol de Janeiro in the um, Coco Cabana scent. And I also only have a tiny bit left in this one. So you can see the progress lines here. I've been loving this stuff. It's really, really good in the spray and I'm sad that I won't have it anymore, but I'm totally finishing this off in the next week. Okay, next we have my little beach night set. So we have it in the spray and the shower gel. Now the shower gel, I am uh, right about here on the packaging line. And last time I updated you guys, I was about halfway. So I do have a little bit left of this one. I am totally planning on getting it finished in August, but the spray, I didn't make too much progress on. I'm not mad about it though because I do want to save this again for next year. The progress I made is just from here to here. Not a ton, but like I said, I do want to save this one. So I'm not upset about that, but I'm just really loving this one. Um, and I'm just enjoying it while I still have it in the project. For moisturizer in that set, I've been using the Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Body Butter and you guys can kind of see there's not a lot left. So let me open this up and show you. There's probably one use left. You see that little corner? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think last time I updated you guys, I was, 
I had just hit the bottom of the pan. So we've made a lot of progress on this. I'm obsessed with this scent, it's so good. So I love this stuff. I'm totally gonna have it finished up in the next week or tonight or whatever. So I'm really happy about my progress on this one. And the last thing to update you guys on in that little scent combo set is the Sol de Janeiro number 62 Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I did not make too much progress on this one. You can see from here to here. In the last month, I was really just focusing on Coco Cabana and I think I'm subconsciously trying to save this for next summer. But honestly, I should just finish it up because I'm loving it so much. I, I spray this even like before Pilates class, before I go work out and sweat because it just smells so good and I'm addicted to it. So I love this stuff and I might have it finished before the next time. Might, we will see. Um, it would be nice, but I think I am like subconsciously not using as much because I don't want to finish it. The last little set that I have is my mint chocolate combo. So I have mint chocolate swirl in the fine fragrance mist. Didn't get too much progress on this one. I I haven't really been liking this mint chocolate combo for summer, you guys. Uh, it's 104 out here in Texas and I'm not enjoying it. So that's mint chocolate swirl. Um, in the shower gel, I did get a little bit more progress though. We were at, up at the packaging line and now we're down to the chocolate. So I did get a little more progress on this one. Just like not my favorite thing right now while it's super hot outside. So I might bring this back for um, the summer project, but that's the progress on this one. Not summer, I mean winter project. <laughs> and then to update you on my two scrubs that I just put in. So I did just put these in in the last update, totally unused. So this is the Pacifica Island Vanilla Body Scrub. And this one is a little more um, gentle on the skin. So I've been liking this for like every day or every other day. It's really nice. It actually smells just like straight up sugar. It smells similar to warm vanilla sugar, I would say from Bath & Body Works, but like back in the day, like when it was really good. So I've been loving this stuff. We went from here to right about here and I'm just totally enjoying it. It smells so good and yummy. And yeah, this one is possibly one of my favorites. And then for my more rough scrub, I have the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in brown sugar and coconut butter. And I did make some progress on it. You can see right here. I'm about right here on the packaging, so I've gone through maybe a fourth of it. I do like the, um, I like the scent, but it has this weird burnt butter note to it, which I guess is the brown butter, but I'm not liking it that much. And I thought I would love this. I do love the texture of this though. I love the Dove um, body scrub formula, but I feel like this hit, this missed the mark on the scent. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using it though and try to finish it, but that is this one. Okay, don't click away yet because I have perfumes and then I am putting in two new items. So I have some mini perfumes to show you guys. I have Replica's Bubble Bath that I've been using over the last month and I am about a third of the way through, right about here. Um, I'm not liking this one. It's a little too strong and it kind of triggers my asthma, honestly. Um, but if you like a clean fragrance, this is totally that. I just, I've never tried a clean fragrance before to know that, but it does trigger my asthma a bit. So I would stay away from it if that happens with you sometimes. So I'm still getting through it though. Like I actually really like it. It's just sad that I can't breathe that well with it on. <laughs> so yeah. And then I still have this freaking little mini Chanel Chance perfume in here. I have like one use left. You can't even tell that I have anything in here, but there's just a tiny bit. Um, but I've just been using this on like nice fancy outings. So that hasn't been like a ton of times, but we do have two birthdays to celebrate my family this month. So I'll probably use the rest of this for the rest of the month. And then my beloved Skylar Vanilla Sky Perfume Roller Ball. I've been just obsessed. So we went from here to here in the last month. I'm loving it. I wear it every single day. I put it on my pulse points. It smells so good. It is just a basic vanilla scent. So it kind of goes well with everything and I've just been loving it so much. So that is this one. And then for some new items, I wanted to put in a little mini shower gel because I am doing just a little bit of traveling this month. So I have this little Scentsy body wash in Vanilla Waves. It is just a sample that I got from my Scentsy consultant. Her name is Ashley Scents with Ashley P here on YouTube and I adore her, but she always sends us like fun freebies. So I'm gonna try out Vanilla Waves, see what I think, and I'm excited to bring this on some trips. And I probably will get through all the rest of my shower gels besides that like mint chocolate one for the month, but I'm not gonna put any more in because I kinda wanna experiment with some of the fall ones that I'm thinking about using and decide which ones I wanna start with. So 
I'm probably going to be experimenting with shower gels closer to the end of the month, which is going to be really exciting for me because I never get to do that. So, and the last thing I'm going to add into this project is a moisturizer because I'm almost done with all of my moisturizers in the project. So I'm just going to put this in as like a fun one. This is whipped coconut milkshake from this year's SAS. I didn't really get to try it that much. I like use it a few times. The notes are vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut and sugared amber. It smells really good. And I'm excited to use another body cream. So that's this one. I just figured it would be fun to do. Um, like I said, it's pretty much unused. So it's right about here on the packaging line and I'll get a little bit of progress. Definitely not planning on finishing it, but I am excited to try it. Okay, that is everything for my summer project use it up update. Like I said, the finale will be at the end of August and then the introduction of my fall project will be in September. If you guys are excited, let me know down below and make sure that you're subscribed and turn your bell notification so you get notified when that video goes live and you can be one of the first ones down in the comments because I love when you guys comment and you're like, comment first, liked first, haha. -ha. I love that, it's so cute you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.